Hello everyone and welcome to another Throwback Thursday where we read tiny rule books and stumble through rules for old card games, mostly, sometimes miniature and board games. Uh, today we are playing yet another 1990s classic card game. We've been doing throwbacks for over a year. Yeah. And when we do, people are always saying names of games they'd like to see us play. Yeah. And uh, there is definitely a crowd. For the X-Files. That has been saying X-Files, X-Files, X-Files. Yeah. There's a, few, there's a few of you out there that were saying X-Files a lot. Uh, some people said they played a lot of this when they were younger, obviously in like high school. Well, and X-Files back when I was a kid was a big deal. I was yeah. just too young to actually partake in watching it. So I can imagine, especially because yesterday you were looking at some stuff, and the way you described it I think is apt, now that I know mm -hmm. sort of some of the rules, which is basically clue the card game. Yeah, a lot of people say that. Um, you see some reviews, you read some reviews online, or you get on Board Game Geek or whatever, and uh, people say basically that, that there's a lot going on, uh, but ultimately it's just about guessing stuff and finding that through investigations. Uh, and so it does kind of feel like, you know, you got this list, like this is crazy. Yeah, these are, literally it comes with each of these starters, it's the X-Files list. Um, and they each have four different uh, attributes, affiliation, motive, method, result. Uh, so kind of like Clue, it's like, hey, was it uh, in the dining room? And then your opponent's like, uh, I have it. It's a little different because uh, we each have a hand of cards in Clue. But in this case, I, you'll pick an X-File. So we each have a stack of um, cards that are uh, among this list. They have all those attributes on them. And the, the winner is whoever figures out which X-File their opponent chose first. Which on its face seems like a great, uh, a great fun, right? So like we're going to have investigators that are trying to find information. And then we're also going to have to be defending our own information, the X-File, from our opponent. So it's like, oh, is this like Netrunner? That's interesting. Like, I've got to hide the agenda, as it were, and the then go advanced, find it on the other, other the side of the board. In the advanced rules, there was a resolve subroutine sentence I saw somewhere. <laughs> no, there was. Yeah, yeah. Really? 100%. Now, this came out at the same time as uh, Netrunner 96... As well as, uh, what else was happening? Uh, Star Wars CCG was happening at that time, too. I think Star Wars CCG came out in 95. So Star Trek CCG was 94. So it was right here in the pocket. And Middle Earth CCG is around that same time. Yeah. Side note. Yeah. Let yeah. me find that uh, handy dandy compendium. So interestingly, they have a basic and an advanced rule book that comes in the starter. And we're going to start with the uh, basic, which is simpler, uh, a lot simpler. And we might end up trying the advanced. We'll see how we feel about Everybody the basic. Everybody says you, you got to play the advanced. Uh, but also, this is one of those things. Now, somebody else said that the reason that this game didn't take off was because the starters were so bad. And we're playing those cards. Yeah. Well, and notably, so, I, I discovered this morning when I was opening these starters that for some reason they sealed the rule book shut. I literally, I'm having a hard time getting this open. So I can't imagine the number of people that <laughs> bought it and then never played because they just couldn't get <laughs> to the rules. But yeah, look, you can't solve the first mystery. So, you can't solve any of the others. That's right. The, the, <laughs> Why the, is the rule book The not answers open? are out there. Um, the phase six, investigation phase of return, uh, sub item D. In the advanced rule, says investigating players start a skill check subroutine on the site card. Well, there you go. Subroutine so is in basically there. Netrunner and Clue mixed together. You know? <laughs> you know, and conceptually, I would play that game. Oh, oh, every day. What, whatever that ends up meaning. Um, so I, you get your starter. It tells you to, some things to walk through. I pulled out all the X files for both of us. There's also cards like uh, I don't know if this is the right one that'll pop, but this is called Nasty Surprise. So we'll see if this actually shows up on the screen. And on the top left, it's got this yellow X, which basically just means you don't play this in the basic version of the game. You only play that in advance. It's an advanced card. They would so say. those are out. Uh, yeah, there it is, popping on the screen. Looks like the right card from here. And the long and short of this game is... Um, I am controlling investigators in the field, and they're going to be investigating sites. If they successfully investigate a site then that site comes with a question that I get to ask my opponent. They have to truthfully answer it, of yeah, course, or as they're an example. ruining the game. Uh, I have Coastal Northwest Oregon as a site. Prerequisite, Alien Investigation 4+. So if you look at uh, Agent Fox Mulder classic. An absolute classic, yeah. Yeah, Mulder and Scully. Uh, they have this list of abilities over in the top right, like on a piece of paper. Oh, God. So this, it's not that crazy, because the prerequisite is Alien Investigation 4. My Alien Investigation was Mulder is 4. Yeah, that, that so, tracks. So, so that checks out, right? Question, you may ask one affiliation question. So if you look, affiliation is one of the four characteristics. Yeah. 
So once you pin down affiliation, you obviously don't want to be asking about the affiliation anymore. Yeah, and it is the first real checkpoint. Then you're in your little box. Because then... Like, That's if, right, yeah. If I know, like... But technically, that works for any of them, right? Technically, but they're not organized in a way that's is useful. Uh, useful. But, like, yeah. on the motive, <laughs> if you figure out the motive is knowledge... Oh, then... we can actually mark on these. You can. Well, hold on, yeah. we're going to do that, man. Can we mark on them? Uh, yeah, sure. Are you worried I'm, about it? I am not. I want to mark off your everything it can't be. So, here, and it's like, I, th I think Clue works. Like, I haven't played Clue in a while, but I... You you get it. after you get information you can guess your X file is A. You, we we need to play Clue at some point. Yeah, we I should. love Clue. Side note, but, throwback. So the way Clue works is you actually get a hand of cards, mm -hmm. and then you have, to make an accusation you have to go to the you room. Put it in right? an envelope or something. The right cards are in the envelope in the middle. Yeah. But then you go to like the dining room, and then you're like, I think it was uh, Miss Scarlet in the dining room with the candlestick. Then what's start... the penalty for being wrong? Well, so what happens is I guess that right. Uh -huh. Then it goes to my player on the left. If they can, they have to prove me that that's inaccurate by showing me one of their cards. Oh, right on. But they don't yeah. have to tell me which card they showed me. Yeah. Uh, and then you go all the way around. If no one can prove you wrong, then you got it right. Okay. And at any point, you can actually be like, I'm going to make a final guess on your turn. You don't have to be in the right room. But if you say it and get it wrong, you lose. See, that's what... So with this one, if you get it wrong, you lose. If you guess and you get it if wrong. You guess, if you guess... So you get one guess, so you better make sure that you know. That, that's not what I, I... I didn't... Is it that way in advanced, advanced rules? rules. <laughs> yeah. Now, there, this is another common problem with the game, is like there's like 20 variants uh, of how to play it in the back. Oh, nice. So they're wherever it is. So there's a billion um, different variants. So. so the in the basic rules that I was reading, if you get it wrong, your opponent gets to ask you a question. No, that's fine. That's a much more exciting <laughs> way to do that. It... The downside of it is it makes means that you can make kind of wild guesses. Yeah, we won't though. We're we're you know we're too gentlemanly for that, aren't we? <laughs> That's right. Let's get um, into it, shall we? Yeah. So go ahead, you get your four agents out, and Let's look at what we got here. Go ahead and shuffle the not not your X Files, but the rest of your cards. All right. So we've got four agents here. Now, if you're an X Files fan, this is going to be great because you're going to recognize all these agents, right? I presume, uh, presumably. presumably. So I've got Agent Janice, a trained medic which is certainly what you want. It has a three medical and four health, so that's that's good to know. Also, I have Albert Hosteen. Uh, has a big four occult investigation, so that's my ghost ghost master there. He seems like a ghost master. Agent Alex Krysek. Uh, could be pronouncing that wrong, of course. I didn't watch the show uh, hardly at all. I, I watched a few episodes with my dad, and it scared me too much, and I never watched it again. Uh, Subterfuge and long-range combat, so he's kind of your sniper there. And then Agent Reggie Perdue. Uh, health of four there, twos all around, just a kind of a straight shooter there. Nice. Do we put them like this? Do we face them off? So the general layout is you have your agents in the field, okay, here which they is are. in the middle. You have your um, bureau, which is where your deck and your discard pile go, and that'll be over here, off to the side, and then we'll line these things up. Crycheck, Agent Alex Crycheck. Thank you, chat. Perfect. Um, and then over here on the right, uh, you're actually going to put face down your X file card. Okay, and we choose one at random. We don't. Well, we don't. I think you get a pick, but it doesn't. I pick one. Yeah. It doesn't much matter. You get one from your deck. I might choose one that you would never guess. Because, never you know. in the, my wildest imagination. But then behind your X file your, is your hospital. So in the basic game, here's the X file I've chosen. When a character gets damaged, they get two tokens on them, and then they go to the hospital. Mm -hmm. And basically, at the start of each round, you get to remove one token. And when they have no tokens on them again, they can move away from the hospital. Okay, that's a cool, that's a cool mechanic. Yeah. Okay. okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the phases real quick. It's it's weirdly the most complicated thing is how much information is on the cards. Yeah. Um, but very, it's like you only use very specific pieces of it at a time. Like all these stats, right? There's like yeah. a bunch of stats, but it, only one of them really matters at a time. So the phases go like this. We're gonna have ten card hands. Okay. First off, uh, phase one is the briefing phase. Both players draw cards to bring their hand size to 10. So you always draw back up to 10. Draw to 10. 10. Okay. Phase two is the healing phase. You get to remove one token from any agent in the hospital. So every agent doesn't remove a token, but one of them gets to heal one. And so if they're all aced, I mean, that's very good for your opponent, yeah. I reckon. The requisition phase, equipment can be assigned to any eligible agent. Agents in the same location can exchange equipment. So attachments, and you can move them around. Okay. Deployment phase, agents may be assigned to the field, the bureau, or the hospital. So you can literally assign your agents to different places. And the bureau is, what's the bureau about? That's your deck. That's your headquarters. Okay. Uh, and there's reasons you would want an agent in the bureau, apparently. Okay. 
Uh, case assignment. The investigating player may play one sight card. So when it's your turn, when it's your investigation phase, you can play a sight card. Yeah, and that's that where phase. you're going to go investigate, right? Yeah. Then during the investigation phase, you resolve a sight as follows. You conduct the skill check listed on the sight card to make sure you have the stat. Mm -hmm. Each player may play up to three cards. You resolve the cards, determine if the prerequis prerequisite is achieved after the card effect has been resolved. If the prerequisite is met, ask characteristic question and or guess the X-Files identity. Discard the sight. Okay. Then you get to the debriefing phase. You can discard up to three cards, and then we loop back around and see how the player's turn. Seems easy enough. Can we mess with each other? So apparently, oh, we're like investigating. Yeah, we you can play cards during during that phase and ability. And is it going to so, be kind of like Star Trek, where we're just going to lower each other's stats, basically? You think? I have no idea. Um, our characters start in our bureau, apparently. So okay. I move mine off to this HQ. Back home. Okay, I've got I've got my agents here. This is going to be my bureau. Hospital will be over here, underneath my X file. I'm going to draw my ten. This is my bureau right here. I got my agents. I like that. I like that. That's a good. That's a good setup. <laughs> that's a good vibe. Okay, agents are here. All right. So just to give you my thinking, I'm going to organize by my card types. That's good. Seems like a good place to start with organization, you know. Hmm. Got a. Oh my goodness. Oh, also, let's pull up uh, cigarette butts. It's one of my cards. You gotta love it. It's a bluff. So keywords, bluff, conspiracy, phenomena, government. Note that on the side of this. There's mm. keywords in red up, up there. Mm -hmm. Activators, conspiracy. So activators, this is an important concept for you to understand. In the basic game, activators will be used during the requisition investigation phase. Only activators appear in the lower left corner on each card. Simply stated, an activator tells you what conditions must be met to play the cards in question. The three important activators are as follows. So conspiracy may be played during your opponent's turn. Is okay. what that says. Okay, so it's like a card you can you can hurt your opponent with. Yep. Uh, if it says active, it can be played only while you're in the investigating player. Um, uh, to play bluff, event bluff and witness cards, the activator tells you what conditions must be met. So this is a bluff, and it says a conspiracy. So I can only play it during your turn. See, I've got an activators here: active and sciences. Okay, so active means you can only play it while you're the uh, appropriate player. Keywords, you said sciences. Mm -hmm. um, is that like, does the site have to have science or something? Maybe, yeah. I'm not seeing that anywhere here. Is science, is it a stat? No. I'm going to guess. Let me see if any of my locations have that keyword. Uh, older saying basically to play a card, the keywords have to be met by the keywords on other cards. Thought we played games. Hello. Good afternoon, Zach and Steven. I didn't know this existed and I'm very excited. Well, here we are. Us too. Uh, I think. Okay, I think there'll be a keyword on the site itself. I don't have one that says science is on it. I don't either. But I, you know, maybe, maybe that's a thing. Okay. Uh, do you want me to go first, just to dive in? Yeah. Yeah, let's All see right. what happens. So, briefing phase, I already had 10 cards. Healing phase, I have nothing to heal. Requisition phase, equipment can be assigned to any eligible agent. Let me see if I have any equipment. I don't think I do. I do. I don't. Uh, deployment phase, agents can be assigned to the field, bureau, or hospital. Um, let me actually look at my characters really quick, see if they're doing anything. Game effect, okay. Uh, so I got Agent Lucy Kasdan. If one of my agents is abducted, I can immediately draw two cards. Okay. Uh, I have Agent Karen Kossif, the counselor. Karen. Uh, place one resource on this card. This resource may be used to pay for any keyword behavioral or observation cards. So if they have those keywords. If you use this resource, replace it during your briefing phase. So free resource every turn to pay for stuff. This will be resources. Agent Mo Box. Mo Box. Place a resource on this card. Hello. This may be used to pay for any keyword alien investigation or occult investigation wow. cards. If you use this resource, replace it uh, during your briefing phase. And then Agent Fox Mulder. Resource generated by Agent Mulder must be used to purchase cards. Place three tokens on this card. Discard a token to play a site 
for zero cost. Uh, apparently, you don't use the abilities in the basic game. Okay, great. But but can we? Oh no, wait, because there's no resources in the basic yeah. game. Okay, so we'll do a quick we'll do a quick run through. I think we'll be ready for the the advanced rules after a, a quick sesh. You no, know, so all we need to worry about is their keywords and their stats. Okay, and I bet you know what having agents in the field puts them at risk. So you only want to send the agents to the field that you need to explore the site that you're doing. So I'm going to try to do an affiliation uh, test. OK, so as an example, I have Los Angeles, California, which the question I can ask is either affiliation or method. So I'm going to see if there's any that are specifically just affiliation. Yeah, because we, we really, I mean, that's where you that's where you get to the bottom of things. What's their affiliation, you know? Oh. And a witness is like an event on your side. Oh, yep. Yeah. I'm with this. Where? Just saw that stat somewhere. Oh, cool. Yeah. I've got your number, man. I've already got my next turn. I'm well, ready. I'm glad that you're ready. Okay, I'm going to send Agent Mulder and Agent Karen. And this is during the deployment phase. They're going to go into the field. Uh, and then I can play a one site card. So I'm going to play Arlington, Virginia, Arlington, VA. Um, then we go to the investigation phase. So conduct the skill check listed on the site card, a cult investigation four plus. I am currently at three, four, five. So I pass that. Each player may play up to three cards. What's our timing window? Do we have a stack? Let's get it. Go back, you forthy. Uh, let me actually look. There's a little description here. Scripter here. Uh, investigating player may now investigate the side he has placed. Is that right? Yeah. Check the skill listed. Did it. Look at each agent in the team and determine which of any have the skill listed. Make a note that these skills. Okay. Cult investigation. Skill check subroutine. When a skill check is initiated, perform a skill check subroutine. The skill check subroutine proceeds as follows. Announce to your opponent the skill being used, the amount needed, and the total currently possessed by all agents. So, a cult investigation is a four, and I'm at a five. I'm telling you that. Thank you. Each player may play up to three cards. The type of cards which may be played during a skill check subroutine are events, witnesses, bluffs, and adversaries. Once a card's effects have been used, place the card in your discard pile. When any contradiction arises between cards and rules, the card wins. The card play sequence is as follows. The investigating player may play a card. His opponent may now play a card. Repeat this process until both players cannot or choose not to play any more cards. It, it is permissible to play multiple cards prior to one card being resolved. Oh, no. Either by the same player or opposing players. In such instances, cards are resolved on a last played, first resolved basis. So they stack up and they resolve from the top down. So you play, I pass, you play, I pass, you play, I pass. We resolve all three of your cards going from mo the most recently played to the you got first it. played. Okay, we're in. It's a classic waffle. Yeah. Classic waffle stack here. So, and remember, conspiracies can only be played on your opponent's turn. And here's, here's my, I think, bluffs and adversaries are equivalent to events and witnesses. So events and witnesses are what you do when you're investigating, and bluffs and adversaries are, are what happens on your... Noted. Now, that's just a total guess, but it just seems normal, you know? All right. You get a chance to play a card. Do you want to play Pass. one? Pass. All right, I'll, I'll play here. Wait a minute. Activators. So you're... that. I have to have the keyword there that matches the activator to play this card, which I do not have. Wait, what's this key? Why do I have keywords on this? I'm gonna guess that once you play that card, those keywords are active. You think so? There. Like you can, you can, you think you can activators? Well, I'll tell you. Activators appear. Simply stated, it tells you what condition we meant to play the card in question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it j conspiracy just means opponent's turn. Yeah. Most often, you'll check the keywords on an opponent's card to determine if you have a playable card. If your card's activators are contained in the other card's keyword section, you may play the card. Okay. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm playing Cigarette Butts. Activators, Conspiracy, which means I can play it on your yep. turn, which is uh, what I'm doing. 
And it says, basic game, apply a minus two modifier to any one skill check involving one of the following skills. Okay, hold on. I need to make sure I can do this. A call investigation. Yes, nailed it. So I'm going to give minus two to uh, Mulder there. Nice. Okay, I will pass. Pass. All right, so then... <laughs> I love this also. Check this out. Kill Mulder and you risk turning one man's religion into a crusade. Quote, the cigarette smoking man. So is this a character that would like leave there's a, cigarette butts? There's a cigarette smoking man who's like very infamous in this universe. Okay, cool. He's known like, as a cigarette smoking man. You just man find cigarette butts in your ashtray. That would be very unsettling, <laughs> ultimately. Uh, okay, resolve cards. We resolved it. Determine that the prerequisite is achieved. The prerequisite is not achieved. So I don't get asked a question. Yeah. Then I discard this site. Then we go to the debriefing. Uh, I can discard up to three cards. So, I drew a lot. And if you run out of deck, you actually just shuffle back. Side note. And then I get to draw up to ten on my turn, so I'm incentivized to play. I'm going to discard three. And then... DB, we go, go to your turn, briefing phase. Both players draw until they have 10 cards in their hand. Done. Okay, I've got news for you. Um, okay, let's see, subterfuge. Oh, Crycheck's got subterfuge. Uh, none of your business, though. Observation, result question. Okay, and then we go to uh, briefing, then healing. I don't need to heal. Requisition. We attain equipment. So here comes some equipment. Binoculars. Uh, add one to observation. Who wants these binoculars? Mm. A handy unity set of binoculars could be useful. Yeah. Um, observation. Well, let's give them to Agent Reggie Perdue. Add one to the agent's observation skill. Binoculars are hard to use with glasses. Oh wait, it's got a, a bureau, so you can only you can only put these on people in the bureau, right? I mean that makes sense. Okay, that are over here. They get equipment from the bureau. Yeah, the yeah, it makes sense. Okay, well then we're gonna send them out into the field there, and uh, you add them together, huh? Subterfuge and you see, you add the skills together. Yep. Very nice. Okay, agents have obtained equipment. We're gonna assign to section. Crycheck, bring in the the heat here. And uh, let's put Albert Hosteen in there, too. That's a crack team I've got out there in the field. And then... Then you play a site. You're going to play a site. Now, ages in the field stay in the field, mm -hmm. right? Now, is there any... What's the disadvantage of having all the agents in the field? So the disadvantage is you can't play equipment on them in the field, or yeah. anything that has a bureau keyword, they would have to be over here. Right. But your chance to move them is after your chance to play cards. Right. So if they're here, and you need them to be here. So there's positional reasons you might want them in certain spots. All right, I'm going to put binoculars in the field then. Oh, oh Binox? I think Binox is going to stay out there. Purdue. Purdue's got the goods. you got to have a point, man. Yeah, I'm going to put them actually right here so I get the nice visual of... Uh, binoculars, which I like to see. Now, what's in the bottom right here? Is that their health? That is their... Uh, that's like a resource cost. Is that advanced rules? That's advanced rules. Yeah, yeah for sure. Uh, okay, requisition. We attain equipment. We assign to section. Now we play a site card. All right, well, you weren't able to do it, but I sure will. And it's going to be... I'm going to the Cumberland Prison in Virginia. Uh, Mulder quote here, I thought this was about escaped prisoners. Scully says it is. Mulder then says, then who are the men in the funny suits? I mean, great questions, really. Uh, so it is a prerequisite subterfuge 4 plus. Okay. I'm currently bringing a subterfuge 6. Uh, the keywords here are site, mono, affiliation, subterfuge. You're at 6 to what, 4? Six to four, that's right. Not even your cigarette butts can stop me. So you get the first chance. I'll pass. I have no witnesses to play or anything like that. Okay, I will play a cigarette butts. 
Minus two modifier to your stat. Okay, pass. Well, it doesn't actually resolve yet, but you get the idea. Yeah, I get the idea. Uh, I will play the Overcoat Man. No, oh, come on. Minus two modifier to any one skill check involving one of the... What, what skill is this? Subterfuge. That's not going to work. All right. Hold on. I'll play Sleep Deprivation. Dang Increase it. all of the skill levels of one agent of your choice by one for this turn. What? Okay. And now it's my turn. Yep. I'll play nothing. Do we have any event resources? No, we don't even have resources, do we? We'll get in that advanced mode here in just a second. We'll just get the flow down. All right, you, you, you stuffed me. All right. Stuffed. It's like Thanksgiving in here. I mean, at a certain point, don't you just put them all in the field? Well, there's probably bad things that can happen to you. I don't know, man. Maybe not in a basic game. And then uh, we investigated, then we debrief. I can discard up to three, which mm -hmm. I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of some of these sites. i got a bajillion sites. Uh, computers, I like that. Observation, I like that. Criminal, I probably don't need there. Evidence collection, how is that for me? A one. A two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a two there. Yeah, we don't we get rid of both of those there. And then we drop to ten, all of us. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, Ooh. nine, ten. Something good there? That's a gross looking card. Makes me uncomfortable. Activators conspiracy. Can you only play conspiracy cards during the investigation? Yeah, yeah you while you're investigation. Your yeah. Jerk uh, Bronson right here, uh, sleepy and covered in cigarette butts, uh, also in prison, would slow up most people. All right, let's try this. I just put them all in, man. Draw, recover, equipment, move. I will leave. You know what? Let's, let's get this party going. I'm going to push the gas, man. There's no reason not to have them all in the field. I mean, we're the Bureau. We can't investigate at the Bureau. Da -da 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 -da. Um, I won't move anybody, uh, but I will. We're gonna go to Browning. Is MT oh, is Massachusetts? MT MT is Montana. Montana, going out west. Um, prerequisite: occult investigation four plus. I have occult investigation of five. Okay. I get the first chance to play. Yeah, you do. I will pass. All right. Now hold on a second. Uh, what what are you asking? You may ask. Okay, hold on now. I get, I got some I got some business here. Um, what do we know about combat? You know anything about combat? I'll talk about combat. Okay, I'm just asking. You know, I'm just curious. Cause uh, might have a little adversary. Yeah. Uh, one type of card that can be played is an adversary. In the basic game, the card's game effect is ignored. Okay. And an if an adversary card is played without being negated, the owning player may choose one op opposing agent and send that agent to the hospital. Oh, yeah. An agent in the hospital may not contribute their skill level to a skill check. Place two tokens on the agent's card upon moving the agent to the hospital. Okay, I'm going to do it now. Adversaries can't be played on all sites, only select sites. That's right. To determine if you can, consult the activators on the adversary card. Activating. You found an alien bounty hunter out there in Montana. Uh, it activates on a motive site, and that is a motive. You ask a motive question, it seems to me. Yeah? It's got motive right here. All right, motive right there. And he has an NA long range combat, six close range, and six health. Now, how do we do the fight? He's trying to stick you with this alien needle. I think when you play one, you get to pick one of my agents to send to the hospital. But don't you have to, like, defeat it? It says if it's not defeated or, or something. So I think you've got to honor it. In Without some way. being negated. How do you negate it? Meantime, your plans will not succeed, says Alien Bounty Hunter to one of the Gregors. A lot of cigarette butts there, too. Everybody's smoking a lot. What up, man? I... Apparently there's, like, combat, right? Isn't there combat? We're gonna do combat? There's not a combat section. We don't shoot each other or anything? Do we go into a little section. Doomtown moment? I think that's in the non-basic rules. Okay, yeah. Uh, the minute, uh, minute two. Uh, okay, 
The motive side is also satisfied. And he immediately plays his witness card. That, okay, so a witness can negate it. Uh, yeah. Let's decide to play another. All right, here, let's play the... Uh, Randy cannot negate this card. Let's choose this to send Agent Costa to the hospital. Yeah, if you don't negate it, you just get axed. How do you negate it? Uh, you gotta have cards in here that will negate uh, an adversary. They'll say it expressly, according to this example. So, <laughs> who wants to die? Mulder seems like the best thing you yeah, got. Yeah, that's right? correct. That's absolutely. You right. got stuck. All right, then I'll pass. Yeah. This will go away. Discard three. See, that's what Christopher's saying. There's all sorts of combat rules and stuff. That's got to be an advanced rule, huh? Yeah, I think so. Do they not have... Where Where are the advanced rules in this? This is a different book. Oh, my gosh. That's amazing. Okay, so the basic game. Wow. We're just... We're just playing like crazy here, aren't we? So, anybody watching... This is the basic game. So, we're playing the, the very basic... Uh, rule book here, which is apparently just basic. Not great. Uh, it's just basic. But we're getting the idea of the, the game flow here. Okay, so uh, everybody draws up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Then we're going to go to uh, equipment. I have no equipment. Then we're going to deploy agents. They're all in. My agents are in the field. I'm not I'm not playing around. Just go. Then we're going to investigate a site. And you better believe I am. I am. Spinning like a run on me on my Sciences, criminal, behavioral. It's one of these look at your cards a game. You mean a card game? <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. Got him. <laughs> this. <laughs> uh, we're going to Franklin, Pennsylvania. Get out of here. To the the clock tower. Mulder says, "I think this area is being subjected to a controlled experiment." Scully, controlled by who? By the government? By a corporation? By reticulans? Well, I guess I don't know. Criminal investigation four plus, and I may ask one method question. Okay. Oh man, we're playing. Oh, you know what? Right? I need to pick an X file. I didn't do that. Oh my god! Luckily, you haven't done anything yet. <laughs> I'm gonna do a random one. Burn. Luckily, you've achieved nothing. Luckily. Well, I'll say. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go here. My current criminal investigation stat is a two, three, four. I did not plan this well. Four, four to four. <laughs> this is a criminal investigation. Yeah. So you know, what do you, what do you, what do you got? Wait, hold on, hold on. Don't do not do this yet. This one. Forget Franklin. We're going to Aubrey, Missouri. Uh, behavioral All 4 right. plus. You may ask one motive question. My behavioral, uh, I guess I should have checked that too, is one. One. So we're, we're not going to Missouri. We're not going to Missouri at all. You're not a behavioral kind I of I don't have any behavioral. Yeah, they, everybody has a mix of stats, and they're in alphabetical order, and it's very... Uh, very difficult to, to get They're in not it. in alphabetical order. Are they not? No, not at all. That's a C. Oh, they're now. alphabetical until long range and close range, and then health and resources. Well, you know. Nice. Okay, here we go. I've got observation skills. Do I not? Two. I mean, who can't observe? Two. Three. Three? Observation on agents of the bureau. They can't look. Are They're you just serious? not detail people. They're right. You're an ideas <laughs> <You gotta>... team. <laughs> Bunch of ideas guys over here. Okay. Um, I'm all out of ideas. I've got four I've agents tried and they can't go anywhere. Well, they can go in the field. They're in there. That's what I started looking at where my fours and threes were on my stats. Yeah. No matter how much I look, it's just not getting better. One, two, three. Andre says, check out your binoculars. Yeah, I can get I can get to four, but like being at four just seems like you're just waiting to lose. Cause all 
everybody's. If I have any stuff, anything, one does not always have things. Okay. Well, then we'll observe. We're going to the sea off of Tildesken, Norway, one of my favorites, in a boat. Man, you really traveled the earth today. The Navy destroyer escort USS Arden has been missing in the North Atlantic for the past 42 hours. So keep that in mind. Um, I may ask one result question if it's finished. My observation is currently a four, courtesy of my binoculars. So Reggie's on the case. And you're on observations. You can you get the chance to play the first card. I'm not playing any cards. All right, we're going to play the overcoat, man. Looks like Jim Carrey's cousin. <laughs> Minus two modifier. Who's got a, at least a two stat in this? Uh, I'll put it on Purdue there. I don't have any cards. You, you, you bricked it. I stuffed you like a, <laughs> like a Christmas goose. <laughs> Okay, moving on, moving on. Medical, behavioral. I get to discard three cards. You got me with that uh, nemesis or whatever, adversary. That's right. I, I drew it. Drew it and played it. I got Christian Bale's cousin now. Behavioral Sheriff Spencer out. Computers. I'm pretty good at computers. I got a four Sounds like something my mom would say. <laughs> I'm pretty good at computers. Okay. I'm going to discard two sites. You guys want to grab a Starbucks? I <laughs> want uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. All right, briefing. I drew up the ten. <laughs> Healing. I'm gonna heal one token off of old Molder. Uh, requisition. I don't have any equipment still. Deployment. I will declare bankruptcy. Let's see who's got stats. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let's see how observant I am. Not... Keith, yes, there, there is an X Files game. We're playing a, the the basic rules, and then we might get into the advanced rules in a second. Man, Brick City. <laughs> I'll pass to the end of my turn. Just oh, card no. three. You know, it's one of these games where nothing feels like it's on the line. And I like that <laughs> on Thursdays. I really like the throwbacks where it's just really about reading cards. Oh, I will actually play this expert briefing. Yeah, what do you got? Play on agent in the bureau. Mm, so let's give plenty. it to uh, Lucy. Uh, the agent is taken out of play for a full turn. At the start of the briefing phase of the second turn, the agent... So basically, it goes away this turn and comes back next turn. Uh, it comes back into play with plus one to observation, behavioral, and subterfuge. Oh, so just like getting better. Yeah. So she's going to be out of play for a minute. And then I'm going to discard a third card. Guys, Brown here. Do we get a starter deck each? Yes. So we have the uh, two starter decks that we're playing, which apparently are notoriously bad. But we can't rewrite history, can we? All right. Okay. To Steven. <laughs> Get ready. Have you seen the card Dr. Blockhead yet? No, I have not. It's a treat. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready for it. All right. So I need science. I need to do science deck. Um, I want to kind of, you know, try to spook you. In a weird way, you know? I just want to see someone get a guess. <laughs> I'd like to guess something today. <laughs> Behavioral, one, still not enough. Also, apparently, this so this game came out in 96, right? Mm -hmm. They had the core set, and then they released a revised version of the core set with, like, new cards in it, but, like, updated. And those were the only two sets the game ever got. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, well, uh, here's looking at you, Browning, Montana. I called Investigation 4+. plus. I currently have Albert Hosting with 4 Occult Investigation. Nobody else can uh, figure things out in the Occult. Uh, but he's an ace. So bring it on. If you don't stop me, I'm going to ask you a motive question. I can't stop you. I passed. Uh, here comes the sun. Motive. Okay. Motive. Is your motive... I feel like we should we should full screen the asking moment. Bum bum bum. Is your motive? I'm just gonna make sure my card's on here. <laughs> That'd be funny. 
is your motive? Is your card on there? Uh, I don't know. Let me see if mine is. Mine... Yep, mine is. Are they the same on both sides? Yeah. Yes, found it. Okay, so yeah, we're good on the list. Is your motive... Ideology. No. Go mark them out. Hmm. Not an ideas guy, then. What up, Giovanni? Glad to have you here. The light says, so the game essentially turns into a variation of Guess Who. So Yeah, you know, in, in, in a sense. Now, the advanced game, of course, eh, all eh, everything would be cool there, I'm sure. All right, I've marked him out. You're not on ideology. Fine. Gave it, gave it a good shot there. I felt like yeah, we had a successful investigation. I'm, I'm pleased. And then we can discard three. Um, I tend not to want to discard the things that one, uh, two. And uh, three. I'm going to draw three cards. Let's see some cards here, you know. There's been a murder. Oh, great. I've got some equipment now, but no one in the bureau. See? Boom. I learned my lesson. <laughs> All right. Briefing. We dropped to 10. Healing. Molders coming back. Uh, agents attain equipment. I don't have any equipment to play. Uh, deployment. So she comes back and she's plus one. And now I can actually move. We're going to probably put him back. Let me see my locations real quick. Going back. It's my X file. Uh, I need... All right, we're going to go here. And we are going to visit Marion, Virginia. Okay. Behavioral of four. I am currently at a behavioral of three, six, ten. And if I succeed, I get to ask you a results question. All right. Well, I've got something for you here. Okay. I, I would like to play a card. I will pass my first opportunity to play such a card. I'll give you a bluff. Peter Tanaka, change the site prerequisite to observation 3 plus. I've done my homework and I know that you do not have that. Oh no. Hold on. The train. Has... No. <laughs> All right, I'll pass. Ah, Peter Tanaka go bamboozled away. you. It's gonna go away. Let me draw. Let me discard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. We're over to the next uh, next phase here, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, um, uh, I've actually had one of the agents of medical school. Okay, so I'm gonna move some agents around. Uh, I'm gonna assign them to sections. So let's assign evidence collection, behavioral. Uh, yeah, okay. Gratuitous cat catafly says, not Peter Tanaka. From that wacky volcano episode. <laughs> Medical. It's a reading game, really, isn't it? <laughs> Medical of three. Would you like to read a book today? <laughs> okay, so I got rid of that. that that's kind oh, of a hold on. That plus one card. Is that forever? Forever. Hmm. And I was doing what behavioral? So she's plus one behavioral for life. 
I guess once you know it, you know it, don't you? That's right. I'm not even good at computers. Uh, oh, there we are. Four. Okay. All right, I'm going to move uh, hosting and cry check back to the, back right, to the bureau. Right back to the bureau. They got to they got to go work on their uh, work on their skills. And then we're uh, meantime we're going to send Agent Reggie Perdue and Agent Janice uh, over here to the Mayhan Propulsion Lab. That's in right. Colson, Washington. Uh, I can ask a motive question if I succeed, and I'm at computer four plus, and I'm currently at computer four. Okay, you get to play the first card. I have no cards to play currently. I'll play Holtzman, D period, S period, A period, basic game only. At, play a minus two modifier to one skill check involving the following criminal investigation, evidence collection, or computer. Nah. Minus two, get dunked on. All right, you stuffed me. Get ready. This game is hilarious. <laughs> Play to change one keyword. Everyone's going to be right. All right. Let's see. I'm going to get rid of some stuff here. I'm not a very observant. I keep trying to find cards that I can play. I know, right? That's what I've been doing. <clears throat> it's not working. All right, let's draw back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm hmm. Hmm. We're back. Ooh, what a that was a very fortunate draw. <laughs> Nicholas, that's a great comment. Actually, the '90s was kind of very important uh, moment for for games in this way. He said, "I think most starter decks focus so much on teaching the game they forget to show you why you would want to play it." Yeah, which is the case with a lot of starters that we've seen. Well, I guess. My skill cards, my skills don't line up with my cards. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, let's do an alien investigation. We're going to uh, Arecibo, Puerto Rico. All right, now hold on a second. And this is alien investigation of five, and I'm at five. Yeah, because of uh, Mulder being the dad there, right? He is the dad mode. Okay. Wow, that's a big one. Oh, it's, a, it's an or statement there. So now we go to uh, the I get to make you fail this phase of the game. That's right. If you think you can. I will play one card. A bluff. It's Sheriff Daniels. Change that site to prerequisite subterfuge 3+. plus. What kind of card is he? Uh, it's a bluff card. Primordial subterfuge? He's primordial. That's the way the sheriff is primordial. And what are you changing this to? Uh, subterfuge, three plus. I believe you only have two currently. Rat! <laughs> you got me. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I just want to guess. <laughs> we're, we're never going to complete the game. <laughs> It's okay. Here we are. We'll try. Here we are. Okay, draw cards in hand to 10. I played a bluff, so I get one card. Okay. Easy. Uh, then we go to uh, obtaining equipment. So we're going to give Albert Hosting <laughs> a high-resolution camera to make his occult investigation skill a 5. So he's now capable of taking pictures of the ghosts. And then we'll give Crycheck an electron emission microscope. They have access to the field office crime lab, which adds one to their medical skill. Got the microscope. So. Sapphire saying, it seems a little rough around the edges, but I mean, what 90s game wasn't? And then it says, but I appreciate it for trying to do something unique. And it's, base, it's a basic game, so what, I think we need to switch to advanced yeah. here. Drono War says, decks. guys, have you made your top 10 card games yet? We were talking about that yesterday. I like doing top lists with extremely hilarious qualifiers. Top like, card games that feature Molder. Top five card games that have a face down card in play. PD Psychiatric Hospital in Richmond, Virginia. We're going back. We're going to keep our computer team out in the field. That's right. I can ask a method question. Computer 4 Plus. I'm currently at four computers. X asks, where is he being held? Molder says, at the 
Yaloff Psychiatric Hospital, but not for long. X, I'm afraid I can't help you. All right, you get to play the first card. Uh, okay, um, give me just a second. No, I have no cards to play. I well, you just passed the first chance. I pass, I'm passing currently. Yeah. I'm gonna bring in old Claude Peterson. <laughs> Minus two on computers. Get out of here. Minus two on computers. <laughs> it's an IT agent gone rogue. <laughs> Minus two on computers. <laughs> it's not fair. All right, you dunked it. It's holding me back. All right, consider it dunked. Uh, drop to ten cards, everybody. Or I can discard down here. At some point, this is going to matter. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maybe we'll get all of our equipment in the first run through the deck. I've gone through most of my deck and seen zero <laughs> equipment. Is this one of those random starters? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> well, we'll find out eventually. Yeah, we will, won't we? All right. I'm moving everyone in on the team, and we're going to Lake... Okoboge campsite, <laughs> Sioux City, Iowa. Let's go. <laughs> it's an alien investigation of four, four plus, and I'm at a one, five, six, seven. I'm at a seven. <clears throat> you get the first card if you'd like. <laughs> what could go wrong? I'll pass. All right, Poltergeist attack adversary. I'm going to spook away one of your agents unless you can counter it. What are the keywords? Adversary, occult, creature, phenomena. Mm. Throw this Poltergeist right at Mulder. <laughs> Alien investigation. Hmm. Currently one short. Let's see if I have anything for this. Oh my. I will pass. All right. I did it. I feel very accomplished and unstoppable. Everybody draws up to 10. Hmm. <clears throat> All right, um, well, let me tell you something. All scenes going to the field. Oh, wait, no, we don't do that yet. We gotta do equipment first. We're gonna do equipment on, uh, we're gonna give a wiretap to Agent Alex Krychek. Add one to the subterfuge skill there. I feel like your guys are getting better and mine aren't. <laughs> a microscope and a wiretap. Put him in. I'm ready, Coach. <laughs> I'm ready. Um, King Carnage says, It's worth mentioning that for how weird the wind condition is, it matches the source material so much better than HP would. Yeah. All right, and we're going to Arlington, Virginia. Cult Investigation 4+. Plus. My boy Albert has got a 5, courtesy of his camera. Uh, it's a, I'm amazed she hasn't broken down completely. She's trying to get some sleep in the waiting room. Mulder referring to Mrs. Holvey, so just keep that in mind. Noted. Okay. I'm going to pass the first chance. What's to play your skill at? Five. Who's got the biggest? This deck? one. Only. What's his? All of it. All of five? Yes, there? all of this. All of that. All is right. There. Well, I'm going to play Hunter in the Dark, Adversary. All right. You, it's you, an adversary primordial creature. Yeah. Go to the hospital, <laughs> sir. There's your token. You can't. Can't handle it. Sir, <laughs> this here? Uh, okay, well then, uh, I got a surprise for you. Are Wooly. you gonna score a guess? <laughs> I'm gonna score a whole guess. If I get one of these things right, my next site I successfully do, I'm just gonna guess the, the finale. Yeah, that's fair. I mean, I think we should go to advanced rules. I wanna, I wanna learn the ins and outs of this masterpiece here. <laughs> right. Oh, it's that guy. The guy that looks like Carrot Top. The card is called Emil and Zoe or about. whatever. He's in a lot of stuff. From, uh, like, is he in, like, uh, Austin Powers? Yeah, it's like that, or like Half Baked, maybe. Seeing that? With the, like, red hair? Yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. What is he in that's really funny? 
Anyways, start of my turn, draw to 10. Agents recover a health. Seth Green, that's right. There it is. Uh, agents obtain equipment. Not going to do that. Uh, deployment. Actually, wait, during the requisition phase. I'm going to play medical treatment. Play on an agent an in the event? hospital. I've never seen an event. The agent heals its damage token immediately. Do you get to come in now, you think? Uh, during the movement phase, yeah, because yeah. I can move from the hospital back to the field. And then let's try to go to the Olympi Olympic National Forest in Washington. I love that state. It's an evidence collection 4 plus. I currently have two, three, four, five. Five evidence collection. Okay. Uh, you have the first chance there. Pass. I'm going to play an alien harvester to try to take away Agent Mo Box. And abduct him. Wait, what kind He's of two, isn't he? What kind of thing is that? Adversary alien phenomena. I can't win if you never move me back, bro. You have a bunch of adversaries. Those are I good. got so many. Those are good. So yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll go to the advanced. Let's go to the advanced rules. We we got the hang of this. Yeah, evidence collection. This game is going to last forever. Oh, I can't play an alien. I can't play an alien. Why can't you play an alien? Because it doesn't have a keyword. I, I have uh huh. That's how you're winning. Oh, it says alien investigation. Yeah. Uh, what does method mean? Oh, method. Oh yeah, because I wasn't. I wasn't. Yeah, they're a lot harder to play than I thought. What's your observation skill? No, don't worry about it. Two, three, four. Everyone's got a one observation. A two, one, one. All right. I'm going to play uh, cigarette butts. Minus two to the, the whatever two you want on. Uh... Wait, can I do that? Yeah, just a conspiracy. Evidence? Yeah. Whatever, yeah, whatever. You're at five, it'll take you to three, will it not? It's only minus two to those specific. All uh, right. Got to read the cards. I think you're going to get a guess here. I can't All do right. anything. That's right. Welcome to my world, Wooly. Hold on a second. I've got I've got game here. Yeah, no, yeah, you got it. Yeah, I got another. All right. So, I succeed. I can ask one result question. Is your result death? No. You want to hand me that pen? Okay. Yeah. Two, two. <laughs> hey, that's a that's a lot of results that are gone. <laughs> it only took one time through the deck to make one guess. But now that you know that you can't play certain things in certain places, it's probably going to get tougher for you. That's uh, that's true. Very true. Very true. Are we going to keep going on the basic? I think, uh, let's, let's start over. Let's keep let's keep our X file and the guesses that we've made already. You know what? I like that and idea. Go to the advanced <laughs> mode. All right. And let's reset the board. We'll just set our agents and all of our equipment and stuff. Okay. Let's go to the advanced rules. Now, this may be way more than it's worth in terms of. So you can grab set. those advanced cards too. Okay, I'm going to shuffle them in. So we now have the advanced cards going in here. And boy, do they look advanced. Combat cards, sinus cavity implants, a shotgun. Okay. All right. Now, was there only basic cards, too? What? Are there some cards that are just in the basic mode? Anything or... that has the word killer in it, apparently? Is it basic only? Yeah, if you see that, you just discard okay, it. Discard it, draw anyone. All right. So the phases are still the same structure. But That's in the briefing <laughs> phase, you only draw one card. Not up to 10. Not up to 10. Oh, you got to be more skillful. OK, yeah. good. I like that a lot better. Let's let's just roll it. Roll so it if I go all in stopping you, I get behind because I'm playing a bunch of cards. Yeah. yeah. Hold on. They really didn't need to print two, two things here. OK. Uh, during the healing phase, 
little different. I, should, I, I need to find that first. Okay, the briefing phase. At the beginning of the briefing phase, the investigating player may draw one card. This is a free draw and occurs regardless of any agent's current status. The investigating player may then use his agents to create resource points. Then he may purchase cards. Cards are purchased from the top of the bureau deck at the cost of one resource each. So you can pay a resource draw a card. Okay. The investigating player must announce how many cards he is purchasing and do so one at a time. He may not purchase some and choose to purchase more later. So yeah, I'm going to buy three and then you draw three. Any of the investigating player's opponents may now discard cards from their hand with a resource or a purple box cost, that little purple square, mm -hmm. and gain an equal number of red resources. Conspiracy points. This is optional. Cards that are exchanged are placed face up on the discard pile. Each opponent of the investigating player may purchase cards from the top of the bureau deck at the cost of one conspiracy point each. So you can draw on your opponent's turn. Okay, good. Uh, we'll have our conspiracy of our X-File. Purchasing cards is now done after resource cards have been sold. Each player must announce how many cards he's purchasing. Okay. Yeah, so it's not necessarily harder. To well, what's it? We got combat too, though, you know. Which we'll get exciting. to. So the healing phase. Healing is different too. During this phase, the agents with damage are allowed to recover health. Only agents in the hospital may heal during the phase. Agents with permanent health rating of three or less. Is there a little bottom? There's right? a health stat. Oh, the health stat. So three or less. Okay. Heal right. one point of damage during this phase. Health of four or higher, they heal two points. Oh. Only I'm a tough team. Only agents with a current health rating of three or higher after the healing phase are allowed to leave the hospital. Okay. During the deployment phase. Agents in the hospital may not contribute their skills. The requisition phase. FBI, FBI agents have access to an assortment of equipment to aid in the investigation. To obtain equipment, agents must requisition it. All equipment cards state the requirement for requisition in their activators. Frequently, the agent will need to be in the bureau to get equipment. The investigating player may pay for and assign equipment to any agent who meets the requirements. So the cost is in the bottom right now okay. of your equipment. You can't just play it for free. Right on. And you got to use your resources that you generated. Mm -hmm. And how do you re generate resources? From your agents? So your agents will generate your resources. So like I generate 19. From these little boxes. Yeah. They automatically get that much. Yeah. Wow. I, I do believe that is how that works. Okay. Uh, maybe not. It seems that way. We'll see. Deployment. During deployment, each FBI agent is sent to the location where they'll be carrying out, etc. We've done that. Teams during the phase you may designate new agent teams. An agent team is simply a group of one or more agents. Case assignment phase. At the beginning, Wait, you can do multiple teams? I think so. Oh, At the beginning so of the case assignment phase, the investigator, investigating player places all sites in the field section that he might investigate. The investigating player may also pay the cost listed, must also pay the cost listed on the site card one at a time. So you have to pay to play them. Okay. Pay, pay, you got to pay to play everything. So it makes sense you have all these Note points. that a site being placed on the table doesn't necessarily mean that the player must ever investigate that site. So you can just threaten it. All opponents may must may assign bluffs to any and or all sites played by the investigating player at this time. So you have to assign the bluffs. So much down. better. Oh my gosh, so much better. Uh, sites played by the investigating player but not investigated during the investigation phase are moved to the discard pile at the end of the round. So if you don't investigate, it goes away. Some sites give you a choice between two prerequisite skills. You must announce which skill you're using prior to the investigating to investigating the site. Once you announce which skill you are using, you may not change to the other. You have two identical sites in your hand. You may not use them both in the same turn. The bluff. Bluff cards contain the bluff keyword and typically hinder an investigation. Cards with the keyword bluff may be played in two ways. Cards with the keyword bluff may be placed face down beneath the site during the case assignment phase. Buff cards, bluff, buff, bluff cards played beneath the site may be purchased for one conspiracy point less than the bluff card stated cost. Okay, so, yeah, okay, okay, I'm with that. The cost is paid when the site investigation is attempted, not when you play the card. So if I stack a bunch under there, you're like, if I go there, he can play a lot of stuff for cheap. But he could also be bluffing, literally. Yeah. And uh, also, worth noting, before we get any further, these are their starting, uh, like, value. So you can only have 20 points worth in your starting uh, team, like okay. Middle Earth. And that RES stat is their resource generation. RES1, mm. RES2. It's okay, cool. Cards with the keyword bluff may be played as normal conspiracy cards at full cost. Okay. I like that. 
That's nice. That's yeah. a good mechanic. Yeah. Uh, the investigation phase. The investigating players may, must allocate all agents currently in the field to the site he plans to investigate. He or she. The investigating player does not have an investigate a site card. They don't have to investigate, but they can put them in the field. Yeah. You'd sign the bluff card. New teams may now be formed in the field section only. So in the field... Hold on. We got it. The teams are formed out here. Right on. Each side investigator resolves separately. If more than one side is being investigated, the investigating player chooses the resolution order. Begin a skill check subroutine from the for the prerequisite site. See the skill check subroutine section, et cetera, et cetera. Skill check subroutines. Whenever a skill check is initiated, perform a skill check subroutine. The skill check subroutine proceeds as follows. Announce to your opponent the skill being used, the amount needed, and the skill currently possessed by your team. Each player may pay for and play cards. The current skill level may now be modified by cards played by each player attempting to successfully complete or foil the skill check, etc. Multiple cards. Do you play them all at once and then resolve them all once we got a pass pass? The X Files stack was one of the most brilliant things. It's a joke for me. Hmm. Is there like one of those little books? There should be a second one floating around somewhere. Is it in? Yep, bottom one. And then how do we... Uh... So multiple cards may be played prior to one card being resolved. In these instances, the last card played is resolved first. Easy. Cards are played until all players decide not to play more. Okay, no limit. Then you resolve the skill check. Right on. Combat. The moment we've yeah, all been waiting for. Yeah. When you encounter an adversary which is not negated, combat will follow. Unless an opponent plays a card which specifically allows them to do so, only one adversary may be encountered at a time. Therefore, if opponents want to play more than one adversary, each is resolved during a separate combat. Combat typically occurs in two rounds. The first round is long-range combat, and the second is close-range combat. Only one round of long-range combat occurs. After long-range combat, close-range combat rounds are repeated until the adversary is killed. It's like ranged and conquest. Or all agents are sent to the hospital. All damage inflicted during each round occurs simultaneously, thus it is possible for an agent and adversary to be removed by combat and still inflict damage for the round. Long-range combat. <laughs> combat typically starts with long-range combat. Some adversaries will attack, etc. So long-range combat skill is listed on adversary and agent cards. I bet we can figure this out as we go. Long, oh, they have the stat. Yeah, it's right there. Uh, a skill check subroutine must be initiated to determine the damage done by the agent and adversary. A skill check subroutine, etc. Et So you basically assign your damage. It happens simultaneously yeah. based on your stat. Then you go to close range combat. I assume it's going to be the same thing with a different stat. But you repeat close range until you either everything's to the hospital or the adversary's gone. That makes sense. Yeah. Tracking damage, tokens, combat cards can only be played during combat. Then you do site resolution, which is the same. And debriefing phase. Yeah. The example to you really gets it gets it to you. I think we've got this. All right, let's try it. Yeah, let's get in there. Okay. Uh, there we go. Ace Nade says, this game honestly looks quite fun. Purchase a few decks and packs. I'm excited to get it on the table with a beer or three. Yeah, very nice. What up, Cluster? Seems, uh, seems worth it. All right, 10 cards. Is this my resource card? Yeah, yeah. So we have conspiracy over here, conspiracy points, and then resource points. Mm. This is a conspiracy? Mm hmm So my standard resource is two, three, four, five. And they stay there forever. Conspiracy and resources don't ever go away until you spend them. So you can generate them five turns in a row. Wow. Yeah. Oh, hey, check this out. So during the bluffs, I'm just reading the example, and basically it tells you everything you need to know. Um, you can put any card face down under a site. It doesn't actually have to be a bluff card. Nice. So you can bluff. 
Uh, you can play a sight card under there to try to discourage them from doing it. Okay. Uh, yeah. Also satisfying. Can't. Yeah. Play adversary. And she sucks his prey. The mana two card contains the activator's conspiracy. Yeah. And then we go to yeah. Then we go to uh, then we go to combat. Cool. I'm ready. We have it. All right. We're gonna draw how many ten? Yep. Okay. And you only play combat cards during combat because you're not an idiot. Create resource points, buy cards for resource points, opponent sells cards for conspiracy points, opponent buys cards for conspiracy points. Right on. So we'll start briefing. I draw a card for free. And then I create resource points. My characters generate five. Okay. And then and now I and you buy now you buy cards with them during yeah. the briefing phase. I will play a mojo bag. <laughs> subtract one. So this is a equipment. I'm going to play it on Molder. So subtract one point from each damaging hit caused by an occult creature. In addition, occult adversaries may not play combat cards on agents equipped with the mojo bag. Hold on a second. I just realized what this means. So you can buy card. You can draw cards at this point. And then once you go to the equipment phase is when you actually play the equipment. Mm. Do you want to draw any cards for money? And then I'll get to do the same. I'm, to do the I'm same. good. Okay, and we start with five in each, apparently. And only seven cards in advance. Let me discard three at random. Yeah. Just redraw. I'll just shuffle. Just redraw. Okay, seven cards. Thank you, chat. Very good. Seven cards in advance and five resources in each to start. That actually speeds things up quite a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Boom. Going back to the bureau. Going back to the world. Back to uh, my girl. Back to my family and friends. Okay. And so, now we have a ton of text here that we have to also pay attention to. Oh, yeah. Uh, but, you know, we'll take it as it comes. Five and five. Okay. I've got Albert Hosting, so we're going to start here. Place a token on the card, discard it to examine your opponent's hand, select a conspiracy card, show it to your opponent. If your opponent plays that card at any time in the game, you may immediately ask a question about the X-File. Tell me, tell me that. I look at your card, or I look at your hand, I choose a card. If you play it during the game, I get to ask you a question. You can do that once? Yeah, once. Yeah, the first time the card is played. So it discourages you from playing anything, clearly. Hosting's got the goods here. Uh, Agent Krychek allows you to choose to add to the conspiracy pool instead of the resource pool during the briefing phase. Say that again. So on my turn, I can add to my conspiracy pool with Krychek mm. because apparently he's, uh, he's, he's crooked. He's a double agent. Yeah, he's working for the cigarette smoking man, also known as Cancer Man, apparently. Hmm. Uh, Agent Janus, place one resource on this card. It may be used to pay for any keyword. Uh, medical or healing cards and then you replace it during the briefing phase. In addition, if he's in the field, he may heal one point of damage on another agent in his team once per turn. So he's my medic. He can heal one once per turn. These are our resources? Yeah. And then Reggie Perdue, place a token, discard it, look through your bureau deck to draw any one site that asks a result question, and then reshuffle. So nice. I get that once. So I can do, I got two cool once per game effects. Okay. So this is fun. Uh, sarcastically. Uh, Mulder says resources generated by Agent Mulder must be used to purchase cards. Okay. So I'm going to have to have a separate tracking device. Are you serious? Can I get D6? Are you serious? Uh, then I can spend one of his tokens to play a site without paying the cost. Okay, cool. I can do that three times. So he's, got, he's a good traveler. Agent yeah. Karen, I place a resource on this card. I can use it to pay for any keyword behavioral or observation cards. If I use it, replace it during my briefing phase. Yeah. So it comes back like an Eastern five of them. Okay. Agent Mo, place one, same kind of thing. Use it to play for alien investigation or occult and replace it. And then Agent Lucy, if any of my agents are abducted, I can immediately draw two cards. Okay. Okay, great. Yeah, hey, we're here. All right, so I draw a card. I generate resources. So 
one, two, three, and then two from Molder, which I can only use to buy cards. And that means draw, right? To purchase cards, yep. So I'll spend two and draw two. So you just get two cards every turn. That's his ability. Yeah, okay. But he doesn't generate resources. Yeah, so there you go. All right. What's my best stat? And then discard excess cards. You might have a max hand size here. Yeah, it must be your hand must stay at seven cards or less. At the end of the phase, you'll discard down to seven. At the end of what phase? Uh, debriefing phase, the very end of everything. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so during the briefing phase, I drew a card. I bought my card that I was going to buy. Then you get a chance to sell cards for uh, conspiracy points. Yes. So selling cards. May I tell you? About yeah, that? what are they worth? Oh, I see. I think I see this symbol. Is it the weird. Um... You can now discard cards from their hand with the standard resource cost to gain conspiracy points. So you don't discard the reds. That's what you can play during the conspiracy okay. turn. Okay. That's their conspiracy point cost. But you discard cards with a blue resource cost or a purple box. I got it. Okay. Well, let's. So then it's kind of cool because then I have to figure out. Uh, what do I want to do on your turn to make your life worse? I'd like a couple of... I'd like, I'd like at least a point. Let's get a point in there. Um, so I'll do... I'll discard an Icy Cape Alaska to generate two conspiracy points. Done. Okay. And then uh, we'll go back to you. Agents okay. Recover Health. Agents Recover Health, nothing's damaged. Acquisition, they can attain equipment. So, why not? Eight points from, right? Eight monies for equipment. I will play, pay two for my mojo bag. Just means he gets better at, or he doesn't get hurt by occult creatures very effectively. He's, Okay, so you got like a Ghostbusters That's kind right. of device there. Yeah. Okay, then we'll do a deployment. So let me see where I'm going. So you deploy your agents, and then you can play any number of side cards. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I'm not lying. We are going to go back to Puerto Rico, Arecibo, and we're going to send. I guess technically I send these guys first. Because actually I play it and I you, pay it, you but put, I don't have to go there. You put your stuff in the field first and then yeah, you play your side. Yeah, okay, let me see. I'm gonna put a couple out so you can't pin me down. This got better. It got better. It did, yes. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna I'm Gonna play Marion, Virginia for two. And I'm gonna play uh, Arecibo, Puerto Rico for one. Who's in the field here? Oh, sorry, they're all in the field. Everybody's going. Okay, it's a party. I got my yeah. mojo back. Okay. Okay. And then I'm playing these two. Mm -hmm. So, uh, sight card played. Then assign bl bluff. Okay. Tell me uh, your behavioral stat. Give me a give me a give me a read a on rundown? what you're. Yeah, it's gonna He's a reading. three. She's a three. He is a zero. Okay. She's a three. I have three threes. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I like this way more. Oh, it's immediately better, right? Yeah. It also helps that we know a like. 80% of what's going on before we even went down this path. One bluff. Two bluff. And three bluff. Done. All right. Um, now we assign agents to sites. Yeah. So they're in the field. And then where are they going? Huh? Where are they going, buddy? 
Hey, man, what are they They're all going here. Ooh. Really? Yep. Well, well played, sir. You got bluffed my bluff. <laughs> He's not going to go to the location with two cards. Surely. Don't call me Surely. Site's right. investigated. A sign is site. Site is investigated. So it's a. I'm going to use alien investigation of five plus. Yeah. Okay. I'm currently at a seven. We reveal the bluff cards. Is the first thing that happens, and then we can play cards out of hand. Yeah. So I'm revealing a bluff card here. Total bluff. Just a witness. Revealing a bluff card here. Total bluff. Combat card. Oh, well, that's a total bluff. Total bluff. Okay. Now we get to play cards like we resolve bluffs. Do. Play cards. So I will pass currently. You know what? I'm not going to play anything. Okay, nice. cool. So yeah. I succeeded. You did, yeah. Wow. Much, much better. Wow. Uh, I can ask an affiliation question or a method question. We will go affiliation. Let's see if we can just get this going. Um, is this affiliation... Hold on, we gotta zoom out for context. Government. Affiliation is government. It is. Oh my goodness. Hot diggity dang. So here is here is my uh, lead investigator logic. I looked, I the only thing I have right now is the result. Yeah. And like on evolutionary, I have five things already checked off. Yeah. So this had a bunch that I didn't have checked yeah, off. You're narrowing it in. You're doing a Sudoku over here. So if you said it wasn't government, it would all of those would just disappear, mm -hmm. which would be helpful. But now I know I'm I'm down to seven things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, so then we go to the debri debriefing. Discard access cards. I have seven in my hand. Per a perfect turn. Just literally a master class. Discard all these. These guys, cats are all in the field, and then it'll pass over to you. And I'm gonna do some research all here. Right. I'm drawing a card for the uh, for the thing here. Create resource points. I've got one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to ten. So I need to find the motive and the method. I'm gonna buy cards. I'm gonna buy three cards. This is like clue. Mm -hmm. I'm good at computers. Uh, I, I get a chance, right? To sell cards? Yeah, you can sell and, sell and buy. It's like playing Road Rash. I will sell four to go up to nine. Whoa! Conspiracy. Whoa! Are you going to buy any cards? Any draws? Um... Man. Um, Did you see my bluff card? Let's buy it. Where'd that card go? What's oh, the one that was underneath it. Underneath the site that I was bluffing. Was it this? Yes, it was. Dang it. It was the actual bluff card. I'll pay one <laughs> and draw one. Go ahead. Thank you, uh, Nick. Okay, then we go to Recovering Health, which doesn't matter. Then we go to Obtaining Equipment. Um, we'll go ahead and pay two uh, to get some binoculars. Over to my boy Reggie Perdue. Reggie with the specs. Okay, then I'm going to assign agents. They're all going to go to the field. Here they go. Uh, then I'm gonna play sight cards. You know what? Let's just let's just get weird. I'm gonna play two sight cards. It cost me four. I don't know one there. And then you get to assign bluffs. Okay. That is computer and centrifuge. Hey kid. All right. Let's assign. Oh. Don't hurt computer.
Okay. Let's see what happens. Uh, then we're going to assign agents. Uh, we're assigning here mm -hmm. and here. Okay. Then we're going to resolve. I'm going to resolve uh, this one first. I'm currently a six. Uh, oh, no, wait. I did that totally backwards. These guys are like this. Just swap, yeah, just swap them like that. So these guys are in subterfuge. They're a subterfuge of six uh, currently. A four and a two. Okay. So I resolve this bluff card. Cost X minus one. Claude Peterson. The advanced version, I paid the listed uh, conspiracy cost, where X is the number paid to get the desired result. So if I pay one, I get you minus one. If I pay three, I give you minus two. If I pay five, I give you minus three. Oof. So because I'm minus one, I'll pay four. Ooh, gross. Hey, that, that's still your money. That's a heavy, heavy money burden. And know? I will give you a minus three stat. All right, you did it successfully. I'll just pull these guys back. Discard that. Uh, let's resolve this one. Computer four plus, I'm currently a four computer. Garbage. Yeah, total bluff. Playing cards from hand, I pass. I will also pass. All right, I'm gonna ask a motive question. My motive is movement. Bum, bum, bum. We need like really wild effects that happen when it's time to make a guess. Is your motive Control. Motive? Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> they hit the typewriters. Okay, it's not control. Okay. All right. I see. Yeah, pretty clever there. Pretty clever. <clears throat> okay. All right, now we go to the uh, discard excess cards. I have four cards, so no need to do that. Everybody comes back home. And then it goes over to your turn. Uh, draw a card. It plays like an actual game now. It does, yeah. Uh, I create resource points. So I've got one, two, three. And then so you just draw six. two cards. Then. And then I draw two. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Do you want to buy any additional oh, cards? Yeah. Um, I, I guess I'd have to decide that all at the same time. I, I don't know. Because okay. like his can only be spent on right that, but on. I have to decide it all right at once. on. And then I sell cards uh, for cool points. Can I sell cards that don't have the resource icon, but have other icons? I don't think you can sell the bread hand icons. Okay. Then I will not. And then I can buy cards. I'm going to buy. I'm going to buy two cards. I feel like there's some pretty natural break points on what you do here. Oh. Wow. Okay. Well, I'm going to play that. Okay. Okay. Recover health doesn't matter. Obtain equipment. And understand, of course, remember that Mulder can pay for the sites if you want him to. Uh, so your agents are in the field. Do you want to keep them all in the field? Yeah. All right. And then uh, play your site cards. We'll assign some blocks. Mm-hmm. Okay. We're gonna play. Uh and I'm gonna use one of his tokens to pay for this. Olympic National Forest and Minneapolis, Minnesota for one. Oh, our old friend Minnesota. So, assign bluffs. Mm-hmm. Well, let's take a second. Just gonna try to so, figure out what you're gonna be doing here. Yeah. We're criminals, so you got some you got criminal investigators over there. Okay, you medical, you got some uh, criminals over there. I mean, you don't have you don't have the goods here. You got no goods. What's his medical down there? Nothing? His criminal is a two? Yep. Yeah. So my medical is... 
All right, I'm going to bluff some stuff here. My criminal investigation is pretty good, though. I'm going to bluff here. And I'm going to bluff uh, here. Okay. So evidence collection of four. Let me give myself some chance here. That's right, David. So you guys sound like you're having more, more fun now. Yeah, we just... It became a game. Rather than an exercise in futility. Just interesting decisions now. Get bamboozled. Get bamboozled. Oh, we're going here. Oh, you've activated my trap card. Just kidding. Uh, so this one won't be resolved. We'll yeah, go there was a bluff there. Good job on that. Reveal this bluff card. There's also a bluff here. Detective Tony Fiore. Guy Fieri himself. I'm going to pay one. Your opponent discards two cards at random immediately. That's no cool. On the Lannisters. Let's see what you got. Oof. Nothing but net, right? I had a really good combat card there, actually, just in case. All right, and then we go to playing cards. You got the first one. I will pass. I'll pass as well. All the action's happening. Dun, 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 All right, dun. so I can ask a results question. And there are two results that have two things. Three that have two. So now I'm just playing the guessing game. Hmm. What are you going to guess? Let's guess manipulation. You would like to know if the result is manipulation. Yep. The result is not manipulation. Came up in. We're getting close. Get this out the door. We're down to... We need to report to the Bureau within five minutes. There's five X-Files left that you could possibly be... No, uh, yeah, math guy, huh? Indeed. All right, uh, then into my round, discard excess cards. I don't have any extras, so go ahead. Okay. Over to me. Mm hmm. I'm going to draw a card. I'm going to generate resource points. One, two, three, four, five. Go into six. I can buy cards for resource points. I'm going to buy two cards. Okay. I'm going to use Reggie Produce token. Mm -hmm. Search my deck for anything that asks a result question and add it to my hand. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do this cleverly, so this will take just a second. Yeah, I'm not in a rush. <laughs> Where, are we not playing on a competitive chess clock X Files? Click. I actually pay someone to watch our streams and time how much time each of us are taking. I'll eventually tell you how much how much I've won by. Uh, Across uh -huh. all turns and all games ever. That would actually be a really interesting stat to know. Like Who one... takes the longer turn? I definitely take longer turns. <laughs> I don't... Generally, I feel 100%. like I don't know if that's true. I feel like you would. It would be natural for both of us to think that we take the longer turns because. When we're engaged in the turn, we're not thinking about what the other person is doing. That's very, actually, very true. Actually. All right, so let me just <laughs> That is actually a this. good statement, unlike the rest of the ones that you make. <laughs> All right, and there's a five. Very behavioral here. There you don't want that one. Observation. Three. Probably still a four from before. Yeah. It's a four. There. Okay. You know, I didn't even. I'm not paying attention. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, 
criminal investigation. Are we good at that? Two. Four. There's a four as well. Okay, so let's go to the Olympic National Forest. Then. Okay, I'm going to get the Olympic National Forest uh, with Agent Reggie Perdue's. Uh, okay, been there stuff. before. Okay. I'm going to discard Albert Hosting's token uh, to... Actually, let's do that. We'll do that in a second. I don't know that you might still be able to do stuff. So I've got all the cards that I want at this point. Okay. Then you get to generate resources and buy cards yourself. All right. I will buy a card. One un card. And you're not generating any more uh, conspiracies. Mm -mm. Okay. Uh, we recover health. We obtain equipment. Uh, which I have I have none uh, there. And then we are uh, agents assigned to the field. They're all in the field. And then we play a sight card. Now I'm going to remove Albert's to look at your hand. Place it on the table for us, would you? And if they, yeah, get a free guess if you play any of these cards here that I'm about to tell you. Oh, my. Well, the Suppressed Fury looks like a good one. <laughs> okay. One keyword evidence collection card. Okay, so maybe this won't matter so much. Uh, it's a creepy looking card, though. Oh, wow. This is a cool ability. No matter how much long range damage it takes, it always hits the first close combat range. Yeah. It's unstoppable. Okay. You need to add two to your pool immediately, so that's pretty good for you. And then uh, pay the listed X cost, the number. Okay, so the same. Alien Investigation Medical Sciences. I'm going to choose the Suppress Fury. All right, so if I play it, you get to make a free guess. First time you play the Suppress Fury, uh, I may immediately or... ask one question about the X-File for the rest of the game. Mm. The first time you play it. So it's basically play it or don't, you know? Jeez, yeah. that's cool. Uh, yeah, hosting on the case, man. <laughs> that's right. He's got you. All right, here comes the Olympic National Forest. And uh, we're we're sending the gang. I guess we don't do that. Bluffs first. We know what you got. Uh, let's put that under. Is that the one we immediately get two conspiracy points. Mm -mm. Yes. <laughs> all right. Did it. Um, they're all in. Ready? Yeah. So this gets revealed. I gained two. This gets revealed. I'm playing Suppressed Fury. Oh my gosh. All my resources, and you get to make a guess. I'm, I'm giving you a an free immediate guess. guess. Now, that's, hold on a second. That's how hold confident I am. Give me that, give me that pin. And give you can pin, guess guy. anything. You don't have to pick a certain type. I can guess anything. That's right. OK, this is, I've, I've got to actually, I didn't think this would happen. I'm going to make myself known here. Going all the way through. You're not the cigarette smoking man, so that's good to know. And then this is all gone. Okay, can't be these things. You can't be this guy. Can't be this guy. Can't be these guys. I like that you, instead of just, I did this to show it had to be one of those. Yeah, well, you because you guessed a category that's neatly nested. Oh, you got to go through, yeah. I don't have your neatly nested nonsense. Yeah, well, not all of us can be this organized. And that's why affiliation is the jam. It is. Okay. So now, I can ask you any question. One, two, three, four, five. Give me five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I see a trend. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Is your affiliation evolutionary? This is my affiliation? Yeah. Evolutionary. No. I 
I get it back like to the bureau. Getting a category right early is such an advantage. I actually read that that was one of the huge problems with the game. Yeah, because <laughs> you could guess four of your tries and still, at that point, only know the branch that you're looking at. That's fine, you know. But I got mine on the first one. Fine. So I feel way ahead. Anyways, all right. That's right. fine. Uh, now we go to combat. You're doomed. Long range. What's your long range? My long range combat is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oof, but he's still coming in. And then we do close combat. How much health does he have? Nine. Nine. Okay, six, seven, eight. Close and so hold on, hold on a second. I'm gonna have cards here. Well, you're gonna get him in close combat anyway, and he hits in close combat no matter what. You well, do. I might have a card that cancels close combat damage. You know what Ooh, I mean? Ooh, that'd be fun. Okay, please come in your Take the damage. Okay, uh, and I'm looking at evidence collection. Okay, fine. Two, one. Two. Okay. So then we go to close combat. And then we mutually assign our damage. So my close combat damage is one, two, three, four, five. I'm assigning all five to the suppressed fury. I'm doing two for that guy. He's going to the hospital. Would that take him to the hospital? He's got a health of five. I don't know. What, what, what was the rule again? I think I only say the hospital if you run out of health. Yeah. When it, uh, yep, when it's reduced to zero. Okay, cool. Do you, do you have any two health things? No. Not a fool. Close. I'm hardy. Old man. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it here in case I ever get to that. Okay. Uh, I, I'm gonna do something right now since I can. This guy says, in a, if Chan is in the field section, he may heal one point of damage on another agent in his team. Once per turn. Oh, also, adversary is not a bluff, so you can't play it as a bluff. So I would have had to just play it. Oh, right. Which is fine. Drops the thing in. So I'm going to heal one with Agent Janice there. We don't really know when that happens, but I think it happens at some point. All right. It says once per turn. I don't know. It's probably now. Fine. Ish. Uh, evidence collection four plus. I'm currently at a five. You can play cards as you like. Pass. Pass. I'm going to ask a result question. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> now you've you've crossed out a lot of stuff. So looking at which which results have the max impact for you makes the sense. Yeah, but so, it's like so hard to find at a glance. I know. We need an app. Abduction, insanity, death, death, insanity, manipulation, abduction, physiological. You're asking a result question. Yeah, death, abduction, physiological, abduction, death, insanity. I feel like I said abduction a lot there. So I'm gonna guess abduction. Hold on. Second here. Drat! <laughs> okay. Oh, no, nope, that one's still in. Uh, so I can be uh, yeah, abduction there, abduction. Uh, now there's nothing here. Uh, Your list is getting awfully chicken scratchy. Yeah, you know. I think I've got this in the bag. You'll never get another guess. Do you know what my thing is? It's all fine. Hope you didn't cross the wrong things out. No, I'm just going to kind of narrow it down here, you know? Like a real detective would. I got my pin pad out, you know? That's right. Been watching the... Uh, after watching the Snyder Cut of the Justice League, I wanted to watch good Batman movies. Mm. So... What's the Dark Knight and there's, stuff? Well, there's a lot of movies that my wife hasn't seen in the Batman category. She's seen the Dark Knight trilogy of movies, but she had never seen the original 1989 Batman. Yeah. With Jack Nicholson as the Joker. So we started watching that. We're not done with it yet. We're piecemealing it. Um, and the detectives in that are hilarious. In the classic, like, pen and paper, the detective hats with the <laughs> cigarettes and, like, just the, like, classic this film classic noir. This classic hard knocks. Yeah. All right. Back to the game. We're getting there. How many results do you have left that it could be? One, five. 
I'm on 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We're, we're honing in. The race is on. All right. Uh, my turn? Your turn, yeah. Instead of the turn, I draw a card. I create three naturally and two that can only be spent on drawing cards. And then I have to decide. I'm going to draw three cards. Let's go four cards. Hmm. Then I will move all my agents to the bureau. Then I will pay two for expert briefing. We'll actually put it here. That's the one where they leave play for a turn and comes back when I choose a stat to, to boost. Uh, and then I will pass the turn to you. Okay, do I get to I get to discard to make money? Did yep. I do, did yeah, I do right, that right. yeah. Um, I'm going to discard the shotgun as much as I don't want to to generate six points. Okay. I'm passing. It's your turn. And three, four, five, six. Oh, you're passing completely. Okay. Did not draw sights. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah. The big brain stuff here. Okay, over to me. Uh, draw a card. Cool. Oh. Wow. That's this is way cooler when you have these this all working together here. Uh, then we can create uh, resources. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. So go to seven. You spin it down, but you just can't find it anyway. You know what I mean? Craziest thing. Uh, I just feel like an idiot every time I use this. Then those. I can buy some cards. I'm going to buy uh, uh, two cards. I'm going to generate three corruption points or okay. whatever they're called. Conspiracy points. <clears throat> then, huh? This is a good question here. Buster, it's on the list. Then uh, we're gonna sign. Everybody's assigned, you know, out in the field. They're doing their thing. And then we got the side cards that we could play. How many cards you got? Like three over there? Yeah, probably nothing. I'm gonna play Arlington, Virginia. It is a uh, occult investigation affiliation ask, which is actually not not great at this point. But uh, and you can assign your bluffs. Assign your investigators. Janice and Albert. Okay. Then we resolve bluffs. Resolve bluffs. It's an empty bluff. Assign agents to sites. We did it. Uh, sites investigator resolves bluffs. Play cards. Starting with you. Or starting with me. I have none. I'll pass. Passing, passing. Uh, then we uh, resolve the site. I have a four. Cult to a four. I'm going to ask one affiliation question. You're going to hone in real close here. Do you have any affiliation categories that only have one possible answer left? No. Why? Because if you guess that affiliation and it's right, then you know my card. I would never, but I would I would rather mark off the one that has five, you know what I mean? I don't know. But if you're right about the one that has five. <laughs> if you're right. <laughs> um okay. Well, this is a great question actually of how to do that. Strategy. I believe there's a statistical answer to this question. Do you guess the one with the least or the most? I would probably guess the one with the most. That's what I was thinking, but then I hated it. Because like you said, if, if I get one of the then I know there's three things that it can be. But the odds are that if there's like two things left in a category, that the odds are it's not that. It's not that. That's right. There's the odds. So if you think about it statistically, if you guess the small category and it's right, it's a single step solution. Mm -hmm. If you guess the big category and it's right, you're going to have to guess a lot more. That's right. But if that's true, that's going to happen anyway. I'm going to guess your affiliation is alien. No. No. Was that the big category? Yeah. 
Look at you. Five knocked guns. five things right off the list. Five See? Gun. Down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. As hey, you're you're almost there. That's right. I'm a guessing fool. Uh, agents will come back. Site will resolve. I'm gonna discard down to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, we'll discard this one. And then we will pass it over to you. So try to draw. Generate resources. Go up to seven and two. I will spend four. To draw four. And then I'm going to discard three, generate up to 13. And then I'm going to buy a bunch of cards. I'm going to buy five. Mm, go to eight. Can I see that pen? See the what? Yes, the pen. Two, three, four. Carry the six. So my best is either that or that. This is crazy. Ooh, ooh. So she comes back in, I'll give her a plus one. Wow. Alien investigation? No. Why am I so bad at observing? <laughs> I know, right? All of our agents are rocking around with their eyes closed. All right, we're going to go alien investigation permanently on her. And then... Um, buy cards, so I could play equipment here. We're good. Do you want to generate any points? I already did it all. All right. Yeah. Uh, let's move them all to the field. Then let's play sites. We're going to play Lake Okoboge <laughs> using one of my tokens. Mm-hmm. It's an alien investigation site, and it's a motive question. And hold on. I'm also going to play uh, using my other token, Fairfield Zoo. Okay. Four plus but observation. You just said you were really bad at observation. I am. So it's a total bluff. I have four observations showing. I wish it were more. Now, time for my bluffs. That's right. Jay says, when I saw the name on the stream, I thought it was X said X-Men for some reason. And then uh, lastly, uh, okay, I'm with this. I'm with this. Okay. Okay. And then uh, we got these. We got uh, three there. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm good there. Okay. Uh, they're all going to go to this town. Mmm. Got a cigarette butt. They gone. Successfully bluffed. This? Bluffed. Nothing. Nailed it. All chosen. My all alien chosen. investigation is four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> all right. Now we go to playing cards. You get to start. Pass. I'm going to pay four for the psychotic attack, which will start a combat. Mm. 
a three long range, two close range, five health, psycho. Damage from long range combat may be split among all opponents. All right. <clears throat> uh, at my choice. I have seven long range. All right. I have a. Uh, I have an action. I have an action. Wait, what kind of creature is this? This is a adversary evolutionary pawn. Hold on. Hmm. Tell me this. No. Can you negate it? Can I play Dr. Blockhead? What does negate it say? one evolutionary Absolutely creature? You can. No. Thank you, Dr. No. Blockhead. <laughs> Uh, okay. Then uh, I got nothing else to play. So I flex on it. You flex. All right, I get to ask a motive question. Is your motive knowledge? Yes. Uh-oh. <laughs> no! <laughs> Down to two. You want to make a guess? I don't think I can. If you fail, you lose. That would be pretty epic. What time is it? We're not there yet. <laughs> Let me see. You can always make a guess after you make your... Uh... Can you? Yep. I think that's the clue. You can always make a final guess. I read it in the rules. Maybe you can't actually include. You can guess after you have asked a question. You can say, I think you are... 50-50 for the game? I think you've got longer than that. I'm just going to... Uh, uh, here we go. Now, you can try to make a final mm -hmm. guess here, because this is the clue situation. Yeah. You know I'm like one question away from winning, so you can go ahead and take your shot. I'm not so, going to miss my shot. As me, it's like, do you take the 50-50 shot on your terms, or do you make your opponent? But your odds are worse than 50-50, so I guess I'll take it. All right. Uh, Let me just discard down to seven, in case you didn't. Two, three, I have a way four, less than five, that. Six, seven. And then I draw a card. I create my resources. Uh, I have one, two, three, four, five still. Always five. <clears throat> Apparently, I get to ask. I, I, I've heard it both ways on how it works, the uh, asking questions. I've heard it that you lose. If you ask the wrong question, or if you're wrong, and I've heard it that your opponent gets to guess one. If you fail, like they get to ask you a question. Okay, check this out. What's it say? According to this rule book, <laughs> if the investigating agent team successfully meets the site prerequisite after all cards have been played and resolved, they may ask the directed player a specific X file characteristic question as stated on the site card. The opposing player must be able to answer this question with yes or no. The investigating player may also choose to guess the opponent's X-File identity as well. If the identity is correct, the investigating player has won the game. If the guess is incorrect, a penalty is assessed. Okay. The penalty is that the player whose X-File was incorrectly identified may now ask a question of the investigating player. This question may be a specific characteristic question, as indicated, or a guess at the investigating player's X-File identity. Right on. If the player guesses incorrectly on this stage, there is no penalty. Right. Right. Okay. So you get a free. So you, you get a 50 50, though. You got to take a 50 50, don't if you? If I guess the end result and fail, you can have a chance to either guess something or, or guess take a, a blind specific. shot. So I'll take a guess. Yeah, okay. Could be the end of the game here. Let's go. All right. <laughs> well, there's one I can pronounce and one that I can't. So let's go with the one I can pronounce. I think your X-File is the Alien DNA steroid program. You are correct. Yes! <laughs> no. I don't know the theme song, but I would be playing it right now if I could as the screen goes to black. Oh, man. Um, so, hey, man, this is fun. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. It's it's not, you know, why this would ever be a collectible card game is obviously I insanity. do not know that. But you put it in a box with, uh, you know, 300 cards or so, and, uh, you you know, you have random decks, or you build decks, or you shuffle up 60 and, and, and go. see what happens, you know? 
I mean, I think if I really like this theme, this could be very... Like, if I was into X-Files, I could understand. It It does feel like card game Clue, and I like... As a kid, I loved Clue growing up. Yeah. Um, like, I played this with my dad. I think I think he'd love sure. this, you know? Yeah, yeah. He's an X-Files fan. I also saw the rules in the back of the advanced rules that there's a multiplayer. Oh, cool. So you can imagine, I'm like, hey, does your... I'm asking you, does your motive... But if we're all asking questions to the same player too much... Oh, yeah. Every other player is getting knowledge... Gets closer... Where it's like, hey, is your thing a, you know, abduction? And it's like, nope. And everyone's like, Stevens is not this, right? Yeah. You um, have four sheets, you know. Yeah, it's like, and... So that's that's got to be interesting. I, I'll also say two things to this game's credit, especially for '96. Um, I think the moxie to have a basic version of the game with a rule book in, like, a separate rule book. Yeah. In there, and it's got the like these are two different files, like in the show, um, is actually really smart. Because the first game was a lot easier to learn. Because it was just walking you through the basic structure mm-hmm. of the turn and what was going on. It's also not fun. That's so the problem. So that is the problem, right? That you, is the you problem. You get the basic structure, but you also are like, this is awful. But then you get the advanced, and it's like, oh, this is a game. Yeah, the and I see there's a this is not a super simple structure of a game. Especially when you compare it to like Magic at the time. But having two different resource pools, having the discard effects, all this text on these cards. Matching text to activators and stuff, yeah. Yeah. And I, I, I do wonder, like, if you were designing something like this today, which I don't know if you would, but just the reality of, like, how many different things there are. Yeah. Uh, like, all of these different stats is pretty wild. Yeah. Um, just to, like, even the reality that, like, one, two, three, four, five. He has nine. Yeah, like an Agent Fox Mulder right now. The yeah, card. he has nine things that aren't just core stats. Yeah. So, like... And an ability. Can you get away with five? Yeah, four. Like, there's five categories here, right? And yeah, four or five, maybe. some con- more contained unit. Because, like, I had so many cards that are, like... That Dr. Blockhead, I kept drawing him, and you were never playing creatures or evolutionary creatures. Yeah. Until that one time you did. Um, and, you know, it's, it's clever that they have, like, a resource cost that also is how you generate your resources on the other side. So it's not a dead card completely. But, like, the number of car- cards I had that just missed... Yeah, because there's too many options out there. That that maybe is a, a symptom of wanting it to be a collectible card game and feeling like we need sure. a 350 card set every two to three months yeah. or four months and or whatever. Obviously, constructed would be better for me lining up the cards that have the stuff that I want. Yeah, but still, it's like all my cancels and negation stuff. It's like. It just might not do anything against you and what you were doing. Yeah, the whole negate effect doesn't seem to be contributing anything because it's like it's random that you have it in your hand it's it's random that you guessed i guess there would be a meta game it's kind of an anti it's like literally a silver bullet yeah <laughs> oh well this like Which iconic is, had, deck right? is is uh running the meta the x-files of meta as if anyone ever really cared about that but then it's like well we can all play dr blockhead and then it's not so bad but that that alone is not exactly that's a great sentence I, I, that needs to be a twitter bio <laughs> um but I do think, you know, there are cool mechanics here. It's an enjoyable um, experience. I think the playing multiple sites and bluffing. Yeah. And then deciding Great. where to send your invest in your agents. And the what was I, I grabbing at there? There was there's um, it's kind of conquesty. There's there's always some there's some kind of a game mode that is based around this idea that you go to locations and there's there's a lot of uncertainty as to where people are gonna be in yeah. the end, you know. And I think the more this game messed with that, the better it would get. Mm-hmm. Like, where it's, like, if it's consistently playing a couple sites where you're putting people matters and, like, where you're bluffing desert determines kind of where I'm going and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, if you if you hadn't guessed it, so I was looking at playing probably three or four sites that next phase because I could pass all of them with some combination of two agents. Mm, so it's impossible for and me to And then it was like, well, where out. is he bluff? But then you could just put a bunch of cards on the one that is total. it's all bluffs, and then the other ones are actually, and so it was like... It would get very interesting. Yeah. Well, and like even bluffing you out of a location because I have cards that actually affect the other ones. Yeah. And not getting the discount, but like at least getting you interested in not going to whatever that is. It's a classic twist of fate. So you can you put four things. I'm like, those are all like totally nonsense, right? Because he's just trying to pull me off of that location. Or they could all be really bad. Or they bad. could all be really bad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, hey, thanks for joining us for this X-Files, the collectible card game. We did uh, it. You know, kind of better than expected, I got to say. <laughs> that was really it, fun. It was just a different experience. I wasn't playing creatures. I wasn't, like, worried about managing combat so much. I wasn't, like, uh, trying to build a board state of any kind. I was just 
investigating and trying to guess your little X-File. Just X-Filing around. Yeah, it's pretty yeah. fun. It definitely I, plays a theme. I, I definitely think that's true. If you like old card games and you like X-Files, this is obviously right up your alley. Um, but and there, there's cool stuff here. I, I do think that if someone were designing with this today, uh, you could take this and like two iterations from now probably have like a really incredible experience. I'll tell you what you do. You make an Arkham version of it. Sure. There you go. And you put it in a singular box set, and you release it one one shot, one kill. You're off, you're off you to the races. You don't expand it at all. Well, hey, thanks for being here. Uh, we'll catch you on the next throwback. Take care, everyone.